Next topic is, Diagnosis of Lung Cancer. Doctors use a wide range of diagnostic procedures and tests to diagnose lung cancer. These include the following. Normally doctors ask about the history of patient and do some physical examinations to find out initial signs of lung cancer. Doctor may check the color of the skin. If it is bluish, it may be a lung cancer. The x-ray of chest is the very first diagnostic step taken by doctor to find out signs of lung cancer. X-rays may only expose the doubtful areas in the lungs, but it does not ensure whether the suspicious area are cancerous or non-cancerous. Some benign tumors or calcified nodules in the lungs may be recognized on a chest X-ray. Another one is CT scan. CT scan or computerized tomography scans may be performed to examine the lung tumors. This scan may be performed on the chest, abdomen, and brain. CT scans is more sensitive than X-rays to detect lung nodules, but CT scans are costly. Normally, an intravenous contrast material is given to the patient before scanning. This helps to outline the organs and their positions clearly. Next is magnetic resonance imaging or MRI scans. It may find out the precise location of tumor. MRI can produce a quite detailed image and can also detect minute changes of structures within the body. People who have heart pacemakers, any metal transplants, artificial heart valves, and other surgically transplanted structures cannot be scanned with an MRI. This is because the powerful magnet of CT scan may move the metal chunks of these structures. Now, positron emission tomography or PET scanning. It is a special kind of imaging technique. Short-lived radioactive drugs are used in PET scanning to produce three-dimensional colored images of drugs in the tissues within the body. Anatomical structures are examined by CT scans and MRI scans, but metabolic activity and the function of tissues can be measured by PET scans. With the help of PET scans, we can determine whether a tumor tissue is growing. Moreover, type of cells with a particular tumor can also be determined. Bone scans are the next method in the row. Bone scans are used to generate images of bones, to determine whether a lung cancer has metastasized to the bones. In case of bone scan, a small amount of radioactive material is injected into the bloodstream, and the same collects in the bones, especially in abnormal areas such as those involved by metastatic tumors. A scanner detects the radioactive material and records the image of the bones on a special film. Now, sputum cytology. In sputum cytology, sputum is diagnosed under a microscope. The tumor cells can be visualized with this method. Sputum cytology is inexpensive and is a risk-free diagnostic procedure. But, drawback of this procedure is that tumor cells will always not be in mucus. So, we cannot rely 100% on this procedure. Now, bronchoscopy. In bronchoscopy a fiber optic probe is inserted through the nose or mouth to reveal the areas of tumor. A sample from these area can be taken for diagnosis by a pathologist. Normally, this procedure is not comfortable and anesthesia is required to perform this procedure. Bronchoscopy must be carried out by a lung specialist who has well experience in bronchoscopy. Next is, needle biopsy. Sometimes, lung tumor is peripherally positioned in the lung and is not accessible by bronchoscopy. In this case, needle biopsy is used. With the help of a syringe, cancer cells are suctioned and are examined under the microscope. Next is, thoracentesis. Sometimes, there may be fluid between the lungs and chest wall that is called a pleural effusion. This happened because, lung cancers involve the lining tissue of the lungs. With the help of a thin needle, that is called thoracentesis, a sample of this fluid is collected and sent for a diagnosis of cancer cells. Now next is, major surgical procedures. If previous methods fail to obtain tumor tissues for diagnosis, surgical methods must be employed. Another one is, blood tests. Though, lung cancer may not be diagnosed certainly by a routine blood tests, but biochemical or metabolic abnormalities in the body may be insured with blood tests. Biochemical or metabolic abnormalities in the body may accompany cancer. Last but not the least is, 
Genetic testing, there may be some genetic mutations in the tumor, to check out the same, molecular genetic testing is carried out, there may be mutations, or abnormalities in the epithelial growth factor receptor EGFR, the testing may be carried out to check the same. Thanks viewers for watching this video, if you like this video, please share with your friends. If you have any query, please write down in comment box. You may subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos.